Hey there, it's John from Hatch Duo. And as an industrial designer, projects take a good amount of time to make. You know, you have different phases of the product development life cycle from ideation to creating sketches, to 3D modeling, to checking ergonomics, to understanding where components go, and basically validating all of that in user case scenarios to eventually making the actual physical manufactured product. Now, imagine cutting that down to a point where you can go from an idea to a physical product in a matter of weeks or even days without losing quality. And AI can do all that, and here's how. When it comes to AI, we are experiencing the next technological renaissance. New tools are coming out every day and it's only going to get better from here on out. And if you've been following our content, then you would know we are no strangers to AI in terms of experimenting with our design process. Here at Hatchduo, we believe in embracing new tools and technologies for design, seeing the possibilities that they may have on our work and the design work we put up. In our previous video, we took you step-by-step step on using AI in the design process. Go check it out if you haven't already. In this current video, we're going to be doing something similar with a new concept project of ours called MIG. MIG is an EEG mixed reality headset that we designed using a combination of AI tools and manual design processes. We're going to show you what tools we used, when we use them, why we use them, and how AI enhanced our product development process, and why you should be integrating AI into your own workflow. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. Ideation. The idea for MIG came from our passion for creating products that not only meet the technological advancements of the day, but also redefine the way we interact with technology in the future. I personally have a lot of experience working on brain controller interface and wearables, and so I thought this would be a fun project to work on. We've talked about this in our videos, the biggest tech and design trends of CES 2024 and the future of AR and VR tech. Go check them out if you haven't already. But essentially, mixed reality headsets have been some pretty big advancements in recent years, including the Apple Vision Pro. At Hatchduo, we've worked on several projects relating to wearables such as headsets, glasses, earbuds, and even virtual reality. We're constantly looking for ways to push the boundaries of design. With this project, we wanted to integrate AI and experiment with it in certain aspects of our process to see the impact it might have on product development. Thus, the idea of MIG was born, a mixed reality headset created using AI. Moodboarding. With the idea in hand, the first real step was to moodboard. As designers, pinning down the right feel for inspiration is such an incredibly important part of the design process. To capture the right mood for the project, we turn to our own AI tool called Mood AI. Mood AI is an artificial intelligence design tool that helps create mood boards and visuals to fit your aesthetics. You can check it out in the link in the description. Now, like I said before, mood boarding is an important part of the process, but can also be long and tedious. You're searching, you're sorting, and you're synthesizing and composing all these different images it can be pretty tedious, which is why we created Mood AI. We identified a pain point in our process and thought to ourselves, hey, why not make this better using artificial intelligence, which is what we did. We created a tool that saves you time mood boarding, searching for images, sorting for images, and creating images that fit your project so that you can spend your creativity elsewhere. In Mood, you can have AI fill in empty spots on your mood board for you. It'll search for similar images and you will also have the option to maintain the color scheme of your mood board when generating images. All right, this looks good. Now, if you want, you can also search images manually. Mood has an extensive database to search from. You can also see the origin of each image and have Mood show you the similar images to the one you're looking at. After a bit of tweaking, this is the final mood board. For this project, our initial inspiration was that of slick vintage inspired Vespa along with the 3D printed texture that we see in some really cool shoes and some textures that Carbon has been doing recently. Sleek curves and mesh parts. Generating visuals. With our inspiration, we decided to use those as seeds to bring into Midjourney and seed out different concepts relating to the visual imagery that we had stemmed from. Midjourney is a generative visual AI tool that generates illustrative visuals for you through text prompts. We fed it images from our mood board and prompted it to generate us a series of images. One thing to note is that we really wanted to focus on the prompts so that they would better match our intended idea. Now with AI, some of the challenge is actually having that kind of control that you would otherwise get manually. You know, you can tell an AI tool to give you something and it'll spit out several different random things, which is why creating a good and concise prompt is important so the output is refined. 
Using a tool like Midjourney allows us to explore a wide range of ideas and concepts and helps us pinpoint the perfect design direction for us to pursue for MIG. Now look at that. Within a few minutes worth of work, we've already created mood boards, inspiration, initial visuals for the project. Doing all that manually would have cost us a lot of time, but now we're able to move on to the parts that require it the most. Now here's a note here. In essence, we would have understood a lot of product requirements with where these sensors are supposed to go, general head sizes of the market, etc. So we're glossing over that here for the sake of just demonstrating the tool, but you get the deal. If it was a real project, that's what we would do. 3D modeling. Now moving on to the next phase of the project is 3D modeling. There really isn't a shortcut here, at least not yet. AI can't do it all and it's not really gonna help you with 3D modeling, at least the way we need to for precision. There's a human element that's essential for getting all the details just right. So now that we have the direction, let's have AI help us get the viable design quickly, but use our own design experience and expertise and creativity to bring this design to life. Physical prototyping. Physical prototyping is where design truly comes to life. So using our 3D printer, we print and assemble a physical prototype to test the design's ergonomics and functionality. Now this is supposed to be an EEG headset. So that would mean there's gotta be contact amongst your scalp so that your brain waves can actually control the software that's included in the headset. So printing it out, understanding the size and trying it out on our head and making those adjustments. This step is a crucial step for identifying any areas that need improvement and refining the design further. You know, does it fit well? Is it comfortable? Is there anything that should be changed or even taken into consideration to redo? It's questions like these where we'll be able to find the answer by actually having it in our hands with a physical prototype. Notice that we're trying it on different sizes, heads, male, female, etc. We're trying to basically understand a range of head sizes and, and gauge for different levels of comfort. CAD refinement. Based on the feedback from the physical testing of the ergonomics with the 3D print, we go back to the drawing board and edit and refine the CAD model to improve the design's fit and functionality, and then rinse and repeat, print again, test again, make the adjustments, and go back to the drawing board and edit the CAD. This iterative process ensures that we're constantly improving and refining our designs and ultimately leading to a better end product. It's important to note that this project is a concept project, so there's a lot of steps that we're glossing over and abbreviating here, but from this demonstration, you can easily see the potential to use it within certain aspects of appropriate processes. And here's the completed design project, MIG, an EEG brain control mixed reality headset crafted with the assistance of AI. This project showcases the power of AI in enhancing the front end design process, allowing us to create innovative products that push the boundaries of design and technology faster, easier, and more efficiently. It's important to remember that AI is not a replacement for human creativity, but it is a tool to help us explore new ideas and possibilities much faster. It enhances us. It's essential for designers to embrace these technologies and use them to their full potential to improve our work, understand bottlenecks, understand pain points of these tools, and understand how to appropriately use them and when. All of this so that as designers, we don't get left behind. So if you like this video, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. Also, check out our other videos and stay up to date with the latest in design, engineering, and AI. Until next time, let's hatch awesome.